Number five, how can you create income today? If you have two different types of investment vehicles working for you, you have your retirement account, this is your 401k or IRA, you can't touch this until you enter retirement age. But then you also create these freedom accounts. This is your own self-managed stock market accounts, your own self-managed real estate. You can start tapping into this whenever you want. Now, of course, you want to keep funding this, that way you can fund the traditional retirement, but if you want to be able to have the retirement sooner, you want to have some income coming in from here, because if you want to be able to take a break from work while keep getting paid, you need some money coming in from here. And this is where you want to be looking at investments that will pay you with cash flow. Those are dividend paying stocks, rental properties that pay dividends, high yield savings accounts, different ways that you can generate some sort of income that way you can get paid from your investments. Now, the way that you do this is you want to put your money into these things that are going to pay you with cash flow. Again, dividends, rental incomes, and high yield savings accounts. Of course, as the Federal Reserve Bank cuts interest rates, the return that you get from high yield savings accounts go down as well. But this is where now the more money you can put into here, the more cash flow that you're going to get in return. Again, it's a decade of sacrifice because in the first few years, there's no returns. The next few years is a little bit of returns. And the last few years, that's when you start to see more of the significant returns. But as you start to make this cash flow, if you take that cash flow and reinvest it back into those dividends or to more rental properties, well, then that can increase how much cash flow you get. That way, then you have the option. You can take this money and buy more cash flow, or you can take this money and start funding your lifestyle sooner. But in order for you to do that, you have to have the money to put into here in the first place, which means now you're working to spend your money smartly. That way you have more money to invest. Plus, this is when earning more money also has the most power because now when you work to earn more money, the goal isn't just to drive a faster car. The goal is to have more investments because these things can then fund that faster car. These things can fund that bigger home. These things can fund that nice vacation. When you keep working hard to buy those things, you're sacrificing the cash flow right now. Invest in the cash flow first. Buy the rental properties, buy the dividend paying stocks, buy the dividend paying funds. That way you have the cash flow to pay for the car, to pay for the watch, to pay for the vacation. That way you don't have to work hard to buy those things. You work hard to get the money to buy the assets. Then the assets pay for your lifestyle. Number six, you want to protect yourself against downturns. Now, if you've been reading Market Briefs, which is my free financial newsletter, you understand that there's always something interesting happening in the markets. Every day with Market Briefs, my team is working to break down what's happening in things like the economy, stocks, crypto, the global economy, and the housing market. You can read it less than five minutes every morning, and it's completely free. If you have not joined Market Briefs yet, I got the link for you down in the description below. But what you want to understand is that Downturns create opportunities. Well, for the majority of people, they create losing opportunities. But I want you to remember when it comes to downturns is poop. Because poop happens every time you see a downturn. And let me tell you something. We're going to continue to see more downturns in the future. We've seen a recession or market crash every decade for the last century. It's going to continue happening. Most people get blindsided by it. Most people assume it will never happen again. And most people panic when it happens. I want you to be able to find the opportunities because every time you see a downturn, what do you see? You see poop. Poop is panic, leads to overselling, leads to opportunity, leads to profits. The thing that I want you to understand about downturns is number one, they happen. And number two, they create more millionaires than any other time because they create a great investment opportunity for those that are financially savvy. Because anytime you see a downturn, what you see happen is people panic, which then creates this overselling asset prices fall, which then create opportunity for you, the financially savvy, to have money, to understand this, to come in and purchase, which create the profit opportunity, assuming that you're patient. But in order for you to take advantage of this, you have to understand that poop happens, and when everybody else is running away, that's when you come in. This is the psychology of investing. Because what you see happen is with the traditional media, especially the financial media, is when bad things happen, all you hear is that the world is ending. But this is where you want to be able to come in, have a little bit of calmness, Find the opportunity and go against the grain. Warren Buffett says, be fearful when others are greedy, be greedy when others are fearful, because this creates opportunity for you to come in, be greedy when everybody else is running away, when people are panicking, when people are freaking out, when people are overselling, that creates an opportunity for you to come in and purchase, which gives you the opportunity to make the big profits because now you can buy great investments at a discounted price. But you gotta know what it is that you're investing in. That's where you want to have your financial education already in place. You want to already be prepared, having the money put aside, but understanding that downturns will happen. As you're building your wealth, you might get slapped with a downturn. And now you feel hurt because you just invested all this money and now you're down in the negative. But this is the time to come in and be more aggressive because those create some of the biggest investment and wealth building opportunities out there. And last but not least is number seven, having a real retirement plan. And by retirement plan here, I don't talk about 
what it means with your money. What I'm talking about here is what are you gonna actually do to feel fulfilled during your retirement? Because what you wanna understand now is that if you have this retirement and you achieve this retirement early, what are you gonna do with your time? Are you just gonna sit there and watch TV all day? Or what are you actually gonna do to give you that sense of purpose? Now, of course, financially, it has to make sense. You gotta live between your retirement account and your financial freedom account how can you have the freedom to do what you want? You want the money to do that. Once you have the money to do that and you can live within your means, you can calculate that here. The question is, what do you do? Because what ends up happening to a lot of people is you start to have this freedom, which you never had before because you were busy working, grinding before. Now you have the freedom and now you have a few months of travel. You do whatever you want, which is great, but then you start to get bored. Now what? If you just sit there and watch Netflix all day and night long, well, you're gonna go into depression, you're gonna feel like crap, you're gonna start to have health issues, and then your life starts to deteriorate. But what you wanna do is figure out how you can continue fueling your sense of purpose through your freedom as well. And what does that look like for you? And if you can find a way to monetize that purpose, even better, that can allow you to live a bigger life while doing something that you love. So I want you to start thinking about this even before you enter this retirement, which is what do you want to do and what can you do to give you and fulfill you the sense of purpose? Maybe you start a podcast, maybe you start a YouTube channel, maybe you start a travel blog, maybe you create a music brand, maybe you get into acting. Do something that you enjoy doing that way you have a sense of purpose because you can have all the money in the world, but if you don't have any sense of purpose, you're gonna be miserable. And you have to know what that is sooner because what ends up happening to so many people, you see this all the time, when people work their butts off, if you work nine to five, nine to six, nine to seven, for 40, 45 years, you hit retirement, you have this great retirement party, and then two weeks into retirement, you start to see a whole bunch of health issues because all you do is you sit there on the sofa. What are you gonna do when you have this freedom? What do you wanna do to give you the fulfillment? What's gonna give you that excitement in life? You have to start thinking about that sooner because if you start thinking about that after your retirement, it becomes very hard and for the majority of people, they can't think of anything then. You might have seen this with your parents or your grandparents. So I want you to start planning for this, that if you're starting to think about how you can build this wealth and the financial freedom sooner, what do you want to do to give you that fulfillment sooner as well? And if you can monetize the fulfillment, well, all the better. You can do something that you love and make some extra money to continue living that freedom because now you got the money to do so. If you enjoyed this clip and you want to continue your financial education journey, I have another video that I think you'll love. All you got to do is click that button right over there. And for those of you who want to stay up to date on the top finance and business news, you can join Market Briefs, my free financial newsletter, by clicking that button below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.